In this session we will learn about Profinet, feature which is newly integrated in the Freelance 2024. Profinet is a technical standard for data communication based on industrial Ethernet. To set up Profinet system with Freelance, the Freelance controller AC900F and Ethernet interface module CI940F is required. Up to 128 devices per one CI940F interface are supported. Profinet support the following topologies for Ethernet communication. Line Star Tree and Ring Topology Parallel Operation with Profinet Profinet network must be divided from the control network. But it is possible to build up independent subsystems, each consisting of an I.O. controller and I.O. devices, in the same Profinet network. See an example here. I.O. devices of the controller 1, are in the same Profinet network, as I.O. devices of the controller 2. Profinet redundancy Media redundancy MRP, is based on Ethernet ring structures with a media redundancy protocol called MRP. This provides alternative communication path, in the case of a fault. System redundancy This solution provides higher availability of the system, as the components are installed in duplicate. For this purpose, the I.O. controllers, the I.O. devices, and also network components can be designed redundantly. Freelance 2024 support following Profinet standards of system redundancy. S1. It is the simplest use of Profinet, and it is not redundancy in the true sense. In case of failure of the primary, there is no further communication between I.O. controller and I.O. devices. S2. With S2 redundancy is I.O. controller available in redundant design. If case of primary I.O. controller fails, it is possible to switch immediately to the backup I.O. controller. Profinet feature installation. Click on installer.exe to start the installer. Select your language and then click next. Read instructions and click Next. Read and accept the license agreement to continue with the installation. Click Next. Select the default setup type, Demo, with the default destination folder, and click Next. Now, choose the custom installation, and click Next. Select additional feature which we need, Profinet. And click Next. We only need to wait a few moments until new feature is installed. Click Next. Furthermore, we do not change any settings. So we proceed by clicking OK. We keep option yes, to restart our computer now, and click finish. After restart is freelance ready to be used. Now let's have a look on live system. We will use an existing project with existing AC900F. In the hardware structure, select free slot on the controller. Insert new object. And select ethernet module, CI940. Click OK. Click on Module CI940. Insert. Keep selected Profinet controller. And click OK. Now, we will parametrize Ethernet Module C940. Double click on the module, Parametrize window will open. Due to security reason, Web Server and Telnet is disabled by default. By unchecking boxes those two options becomes accessible so the C940 could be observed via web display or telnet. Click on tab network, and write IP address of the C940 module here.
correct subnet mask if needed, in our case to 255 255 250 0. Click OK. The following window inform us that parameter changes require initialization of the interface module. Confirm by click on Yes button. Now, we will insert I.O. device under the Profinet I.O. controller. Right mouse click on the Profinet I.O. controller. Insert I.O. device. Profinet device library view is open now. As you can see, the window is empty, as we have any I.O. device library imported yet. So, click on button browse, and select GSDML file, of requested I.O. device library. Click on button open. and confirm your selection by click import. Following window inform you about successful library import. Confirm OK. Corresponding I.O. libraries are available now. If there are more different libraries, you can easy filter them using left panel. Libraries can be filtered by manufacturer or category. Now, we select wanted device, and click on, insert device. As you can see, green rectangle inform us, that this I.O. device is used in the project. And if we move this window a little bit lower, we can see that I.O. device, in our case C501, is inserted under the Profinet I.O. controller. So, interface module CI, 501, including analog and digital inputs, and outputs, is inserted in the first slot. By the right mouse click on the I.O. device level, and click on insert, we can insert next submodules. See example, inserting input, output module DC, 523. In the slot number 2. And DI, 524. Input module in the slot 3. Parametrization of the Profinet device. Right mouse click on I.O. device, parameters. Here, we can change default station name. For example, to station 1. We can leave IP address as it is. By default is IP address of Profibus device, one number higher, than IP address of Profinet controller, CI940. Let's have a look on other Profinet device parameters. Data timing. We can set publish cycle time for device, and another cycle time for the controller. If we request symmetric timing, mean the same time in the controller as in the device, we can check box, symmetric timing. Now, both times are the same. Data hold factor, multiplied by cycle time, determines, how long an I.O. device will hold its outputs, after the last valid data exchange with controller. Here is an table for forcing IOs. Table for managing media redundancy protocol setting, for ring topologies. Link down alarm. You can mark the checkbox to enable reporting of the link down condition for each port. And the last table, for disabling ports. Now, we will assign configured device from the offline configuration to the live device. First, we need to switch to commissioning mode, and load configuration to the controller. As you can see, our controller is already running and loaded. So we can switch back to the hardware structure. As you can see, I.O. device is not yet assigned. Click right mouse button on the Profinet controller, and select, Live List,
Live list will be opened. Click on Start Identification Request. The network scan will start. As soon as network scan cycle will finish, list of available devices will be updated. Select our device and click on button Assign Device. In the hardware tree of offline project, select the node which should be assigned to the selected device of Live List. On the right side you can see information about device selected in the hardware tree. Now, click on button Assign. To update Live List, click again on Start Identification Request. Live List will be updated. And you can see, devices listed with new name, new IP address and subnet mask. Red triangle with text I.O. device not existent, disappeared. Let's have a look on the next functionality. Right mouse click on the Profinet controller. Live list. Start an identification request. Our device is listed here. We can perform factory reset of our device. With factory reset we can simulate exchange of device. Right mouse click on device, select, factory reset. As you can see, IO device is set to default, empty station name, and empty IP address. Red triangle, IO device not existent. But freelance offer functionality called, neighborhood detection. Neighborhood detection enable online device exchange without any additional effort, tool, or assignment. It means, that newly connected device is recognized and automatically assigned to the corresponding configuration. As you can see in our demo, device become online in a couple of seconds. If we click on, start identification, we can see, device is automatically assigned to corresponding configuration. No additional tool or work is needed. Another function in live list. Start LED flash. In our demo case, we have just one device, but in real production can be present many IO devices. To recognize real physical device we can use this function. The LEDs on the physical device start flashing for easy identification. In this session we learned. Type of Profinet topologies. We learned about Profinet redundancy. And on live demo, we configured Profinet line with one device, which we brought to run.